Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Neck Crochet Tejido. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful hexagon made of brook lace. They're absolutely gorgeous, very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of material you're going to need to make them. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive any Spanish video and you want to see in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you will find the English version in there. Also, you can send me a message and I will send you the link. First, I'm going to show you how to do a first motif and then how to attach the second one to the first one. To make these brook lace motifs, I'm going to use a wool like simile lane, 100 grams, 620 meters, 85% acrylic, 15% nylon. They recommend a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to use a 3 millimeter and the color is tan. I will say like a caramel. <laughs> And you're gonna need tapestry needle and scissor. I'm gonna start with a slip knot. And I'm gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're gonna do a slip stitch in the first one. Now you're gonna chain one and you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you're going to do a single crochet in the chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Single crochet. I have two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I have three, and like that, you're gonna work until you have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. Six single crochet. I have four. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I have five and all this I'm losing the tail at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm gonna do a slip stitch in the first single crochet. And like that you finish this first part and you have six of these chain six space. Now we're gonna work in the second round so you're gonna do a slip stitch and this space of chain six and you're gonna chain eight four to go up and four for separation you'll see why one two three four five six seven and eight yarn over and you're gonna do a half double crochet in the same space you're gonna chain four one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, you see that's the four for separation and the four on this side. In the same space, you're gonna do a double crochet that you don't gonna finish. You have two loops. Yarn over, you go to the next chain six space, and you're gonna do another double crochet. You have three loops, and you're gonna close those three loops. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over in the same space, you're going to do a half double crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over in the same space. You're going to do a double crochet that you don't want to finish. Yarn over, you go to the next one. You're going to do a double crochet, and then when you're going to finish that double crochet, you have three loops. You're going to slip stitch through those three. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over. You're gonna go to the same space and you're gonna do a half double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over in the same space. A double crochet that you don't gonna finish. Yarn over, go to the next one. A double crochet. 
Then now you're gonna finish with this one, those three loops. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, I have double crochet in the same space. One, two, three, and four. A double crochet that you don't gonna finish. Yarn over, go to the next one, a double crochet. Then you're gonna finish with those loops. It's like you're doing those two double crochet together. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, half double crochet in the center. One, two, three, and four. You have double, a double crochet that you don't wanna finish. Go to the next one, a double crochet that you're gonna finish with the other ones. One, two, three, and four. Half double crochet in the center. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over. You're gonna do a double crochet that you don't gonna finish. And now you are at the beginning where you did the chain of eight. So you're gonna count one, one, two, three, one, two, three, and a number four. You're gonna pass your hook and you're gonna pull that through, and those will be together. And like that, you finish the next round. So you start with a slip stitch into that space and then you chain eight. And in that sense, in the first one, you did a half double crochet, chain four, and the first one, you did a double crochet that you don't finish. You go to the second, you do a double crochet, and you're gonna finish with that one. Chain four, a half double crochet, chain four, the double crochet that you don't finish, Jump to the next one, a double crochet that you finish with that one. Chain four single crochet, chain four half, uh, chain four half double crochets. Sorry, they're half double crochet. If I say in any minute, in any moment, that is a single crochet, a do, uh, half double crochet, and double crochets, where you do it all the way around, and it will be like this. You'll have twelve of these. A space of chain four. Now we're gonna start with the chain of three plus two more for separation will be five. Yarn over and you're gonna go to the same space and you're gonna do half the, the double crochet. Half double crochet. Now you're gonna chain 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yarn over. You're gonna go and top of those Two double crochet that you did together is like a upside down V and that top you see here is the half double crochet and top of these two you're gonna do a half double crochet chain two and another half double crochet in the same space And we are creating this chain 10 space, the bigger petals with the VST in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yarn over and top of the two double crochet. You're gonna do a half double crochet. Chain two, yarn over, another half double crochet. Chain ten, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, yarn over, and top of those two double crochet, they're together. You're gonna do a half double crochet. Chain two and another half double crochet, and like that, you're gonna continue until you have six of those chain 10 spaces. They are the bigger petals, like this. And you're gonna finish with a slip stitch on the third chain.
Now for the next round, you're going to do again a slip stitch inside and you're going to do that repetition in here, the V stitch, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, yarn over, half double crochet, inside that chain to a space, now you're going to chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the chain 10 space you're going to do for the four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain over, and you're gonna do a V stitch inside a V stitch. And that is one half of a crochet. Chain two. Another half. Double crochet, chain five again, and four single crochet, and like that is how you're gonna continue all the way around. One, two, three, four, and then chain five, the V stitch, chain five, four single crochet, chain five, the V stitch, and so on, creating these spaces. And this is the last round before we do the uh, brooklets. So I'm gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. You're gonna do four a single crochet into the chain ten a space, three and four. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over. V stitch inside the V stitch. So that's half double crochet. Chain two, half double crochet, and that's a space. Chain five, four single crochet. Chain five. And the V stitch. Okay, like that. You're gonna continue until you finish at the end. After you do the chain five, you do the slip stitch and the chain three space in here. And let it start to look like this. You create like a border and that petal. Once you finish, it will look like this. I only have to lose a tail. If you're making more of these motifs, I recommend to do more of these flower motifs. And then after, you only have to do the brook lace in the outside. That that's what I'm going to show you now. For the brook lace, we are going to do the motifs. The single crochet will be in this chain five a space. Will be one motif, and the V stitch will put two. One in this one, one in this one, and the V stitch two, and then the chain five one, chain five one, and this chain two of the V stitch two, and so on. That's what I did for mine. Chain five, I did one of this motif, and the V stitch two, and this one one, one, and two. You're gonna get one of these on top of the V stitch. And what I did, I chained three for a three double crochet, chain five. I did three double crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain five, and so on. So the outside are chain five, the inside is the chain two, single crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. So now I'm gonna do, first we start in the air, I call it in the air, <laughs> three chains, 
for the three double crochet one two and three now you're going to chain five one two three four and five for a total of eight yarn over you're going to count one two okay one two and then the third chain you're going to do a double crochet and the next one another one and one in the last chain space for a total of three double crochet with a chain of five space and here you're gonna chain two and you're gonna start in this chain five space before a view stitch this is right side facing up you're gonna go ahead there and you're gonna do your first single crochet chain two turn your work around to work in the back of these three double crochet you're gonna do three double crochet one two and three you're gonna chain five one two three four and five turn your work around to the right side three double crochet one on each one two and three chain two go to the first V stitch inside you're gonna do a single crochet chain two turn your work three double crochet Three, one, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work, and all this is the same repetition. Yarn over, three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain two. In the same space at the V stitch, you're gonna do another. Single crochet, chain two, turn your work, one, two, three double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, turn around. Three more double crochet. Chain two. And then chain five space. A single crochet. Chain two. And like that's how you're gonna continue working. You see? And this one stay in the air because at the end we're gonna finish and sew the two ends together in here. But that's how you wanna continue. Now you're gonna do the three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain five, turn around, three double crochet, chain two, the V stitch, and so on. I zoom in a little bit, that way you guys can see a little bit better. I have the chain two, you're gonna turn your work around. You're gonna do three double crochet, one on top of each. One. Two. And three. One, two, three, four, and five. Three double crochet. I absolutely love blue lace. 
such a beautiful uh, stitch work and you can do so many things with this it's so and very easy chain two you go to the next chain five space single crochet chain two three double crochet And three, turn five, turn your work, three double crochet, and chain two, and the V stitch now. You're going to do a single crochet, chain two, turn your work, three double crochet. chain two and the same space of the chain two space you're gonna do a single crochet chain two you're gonna turn your work and again two double crochet three double crochet chain five three double crochet one two and three one, two, three, four, and five. Turn, three double crochet. Chain two, and now you're gonna work on the five chain space. A single crochet. And like that, you're gonna continue all the way around. All is two, motif and the chain to a space and the chain five one motif at the end you're gonna finish in this chain five space you will do the single crochet chain two three double crochet and you cut the yarn because it will be for example let's say in here you're gonna do the single crochet chain two three double crochet but you don't gonna chain five because you finish in here you, what you're gonna do is cut the yarn leaving it till to sew the two ends so when I finish I'm gonna show you how you're gonna sew the two ends and then how you're gonna attach this one to the next one
So I did the last one. So I work in the last loop in here, in the last chain space. So what I did, I did uh, the single crochet, chain two, my three double crochet. And now I'm gonna chain one, cut the yarn, and leave the tail there to sew the two ends together. Chain one. And since I start here in the air to create that loop in the outside, when I sew these two ends together, that is the exact loop that I need at the end. And it, oh, everything is nice and even. Like this will be the first one, and look how gorgeous that flower in the center look. Look amazing. So now I'm gonna work on my second one, and I'll show you how to attach two of these together. Now I'm gonna show you how to attach two motif. I have the first fall one, and then now the second one. So what you're gonna do is, where you have these V stitches, you'll have a center loop with five chains, so between this one and the next one and here is where you're gonna attach the next motif so in between one, two, three, four and five loops and you can do it in between any of these five loops in between this V stitch and this one or this one and that one, that one and this one and so on and any of those spaces so for this side the one that you're working you will do the first motif into the V stitch you chain two three double crochet and now instead of chaining five you will chain two single crochet and this one chain two three double crochet, chain two, a single crochet, and the V stitch. Chain two, three double crochet, and instead of chaining five, you're gonna chain two, and you go to the next loop, and do the same thing, single crochet, chain two, and so on until you get to the last one. And then you continue, and then this motif, and that's what we're gonna do now. I zoom in a little, that way you guys can see better, and both right side facing up, I'm going to chain two, I'm going to come to this one straight from a V stitch to the loop, you're going to do a single crochet, chain two, and this 
Tritové kroše. Děkuji za tritové kroše. Chain two and in the same bead stitch you're gonna do a single crochet. Chain two, turn your work around. Three double crochet. Chain two. And you're gonna do a single crochet in this chain five space and you have to make sure that it don't twist this case usually when you turn around this one that you did the fourth one it tend to twist a little bit it can flip if you're not paying attention one two chain you want to do three double crochet and I'm gonna check things out, make sure that it's nice and flat, not twisted, perfect, chain 2, chain 5 space, single crochet, chain 2, turn, 3 double crochet, chain two in the next chain five space single crochet chain two turn three double crochet chain two single crochet in the chain five space If you make this white, it will look amazing. But I don't have a lot of uh, white left over because I've been using it in the other motifs. So this is the one that have the, the most uh, ball of yarn. Make, uh, because uh, they, they are very short on this type of yarn and Michaels I went today. I have some white and some uh, tan color, is that? Or? It's almost like a silver color, really nice uh, khaki or beige color. I have to read the, the tie. But they don't have that, that many. Chain two. Single crochet. Chain two. So that's why I decided to do it this color. But it's still nice, nice color. But the white ones that look amazing, the white motifs, very delicate. Chain two. And you're gonna come here in the V stitch and you're gonna do a single crochet. Chain two. and three chain two and in the last chain five space single crochet chain two Chain two and then that's the MV stitch single crochet and then you're gonna continue chain two and you're gonna finish the other motif that you're working because you finish putting these two together and it will look like that. Look at how nice that look. Perfect. So I will finish this one, lose the tail, and I will show you the end result. Remember once you finish doing the last two, two uh, motif together you will continue exactly the same with the chain five space in the outside and the chain two space in the inside with a single crochet in between
Once you finish your two hexagon, they will look like this because they have six part each. So if you want to make with this a triangle or shawl, I recommend to do these two first and then another one, a single one here in the center. It will be easier to do. But if you don't want it with a point, with a hexagon here, that will look really nice actually. And you're going to start with two, but I recommend to do these two and then another one in here. And then you will do one in the center in between these two points, and then one between that point and this one at the center of the VST. And another on the other side that will be three. And then the next one will be four, and then the other one five, and then six, seven, eight. You will add one on each row that you do. If you want to do a circular motif for a center of a table or for a tabletop, let's say this one is the center one. So you have to do six. So that's one. The next one will go in between this big stitch. And here you will do a single crochet and this V stitch. You will do another one. The next one will go in between the, the B stitch and here, and the one in here, and the one that you just did, and then the other one. So in each space between V stitch, you'll have an hexagon. So there will be six in total. And then at the end, you finish, it will be in three parts that you have to do the last one. And you'll have a circle. And then if you want a bigger, you will do another and the other and another one and another one until you have the desired size. Remember, I'm keeping all these um, motifs that I'm doing, oh, this beautiful pattern. I absolutely love this one because the flower is absolutely gorgeous for a cardigan. It will look amazing. Um, I'm saving all this for when I have the chance to do some projects with them, I will do them because I absolutely love them. They look so big, so delicate. So I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and you make this motif or anything with them. And you want to send me some pictures, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Net Crochet Tejido, or my Instagram, Ruby Net Crochet Tejido. Please share my video with friends and family and in all the groups that you are in Facebook. That way you help me grow here on YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.